Hello everyone, my name is Paul. I work for a company called Micrographics in Cape Town, South Africa. We are an Autodesk partner and then also a Lumion agent for the Africa region. Today I'd like to have a quick look at an issue that we came across with one of our clients. It turned out that it was probably his internet connection that was giving him grief. He was on a very uh, he was on a public Wi-Fi and they probably had some blacklisting going on there but it took us down a path about everything that you could do to troubleshoot a Lumion installation. I'd quickly like to deal with that. Any of the relevant links are within the uh, blog text. So with that I'd just like to I'm not going to show you at the moment how to download the, the, the software, the downloader EXE from your account. It's, it's quite a simple process. But what happens when that doesn't succeed? And so the suggestion is to download the installer because this is where the problem came in. We downloaded the installer and then on that computer it wouldn't actually activate the download of the software. So the software is quite large. It needs 40 gigabyte free space for downloading and another 102 gigabytes for the installation so you should make sure that you have that on your hard drive at least i use something called pc manager which is released by microsoft and that does a good job of cleaning up uh, my hard drive space it's a bit like c cleaner in that respect just i prefer that but it's up to you if necessary just chat to your it about that and then Put the installer in a folder. You can see I've put it into C drive, C drive, and I've just created a new folder over there, Lumion installed, and that's because on Windows 11, Windows it likes synchronizing your hard drives to the internet, and Lumion really doesn't like that. So put it in a folder that isn't being synchronized with the internet, be it on Dropbox, OneDrive, or whatever service, cloud service you might have. Just put it on a on the local hard drive folder. You might also consider adding um, exclusions in your antivirus. So if you go to the Windows antivirus, you'll see that you can go to virus and threat protection. If you scan down, you go to manage settings. In manage settings, all the way at the bottom over there, you can see add or remove exclusions. And then you can add an exclusion for either a folder or a file. You can see there's the, the C drive Lumion install that I've put in there. And you can do the same thing with your firewall as well uh, if you have permission in my case i don't my it manages that for me but you would then uh, go to your firewall and you can see that i don't have permission to do that all right so but you would add permission for that app to go through the firewall if necessary and that might be managed like I, like i said with your it and then when that's done just right click on the installer and run it as admin that might solve the problem. If it doesn't, then like I said, check your hard drive space and check your internet connection. So if your internet connection is the issue, it might be a policy that's active or otherwise it might even be with the service provider. But that is an extreme case. And again, consult your IT and ask them about that. Then to further tribal shoot, we would uh, recommend that you run a diagnostic report. Again, the link is within the, the blog text. But basically what you would like to do is, if you, you might not have Windows installed, ah, uh, Lumion installed, in which case you have a problem running the diagnostics report through Lumion. But instead what you can do is you can actually run that through uh, DxDiag. Right? So what I would recommend you do to run it as admin Instead of going to the run interface, go to CMD for the command prompt that you can right click and run as an administrator and then just type in dxdiag. That will run the uh, dxdiag. And then when it's done running, then you can save that information. The other thing that you can do is you can go to the system info. And while that's running, we can open system info. You can see it's a little icon like that and if you run system info then you can also wait for that and then save you can save that as I'm just going to save that it's system information file okay so that's saving 
And then the last thing is the host file. So to, to find your host file, you would open Notepad as admin. Right click, run as administrator. And then you would go and search for your host file. Again, the link is in the text. And so basically over here you want to go to this folder over there. And in my case I know there's nothing in there. But if there were, there's the host file. You don't have to say all files. You would delete anything with Lumion in it. And then you would look for the host. It's got no extension. Okay, and then send that as well. You can see that you can open that if you want without an extension. It shows you the host. Let's go and file save as. And then save that in your wherever it's necessary. But without an extension. I'm just going to delete the extension. And there's the system info, and then we can save that as well. Save all information. It's DXDiag. And then, if necessary, take a screenshot, and that's what you would forward me for us to interface with Lumion correctly. So, I hope this doesn't happen to you, but if it does, there's an explanation of what you might want to do and if you're stuck then give us a call and we can assist you with that. Until next time, good luck with your work and enjoy Lumion.